Dude. It's already recording, so all you have to do yeah, you're is... Good. Hey, Rashad. Survival! I just sat down to commentate and I don't know what's happening. Why are we on Mushroom Kingdom 2? Oh, okay. That's way better. <laughs> I was like, no, don't convince random people to play on these garbage stages. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to be commentating a little bit and running the stream. Uh, I've got other people running the bracket, too. Um, so we're going to um, Yoshi's Story. That's Yeah, Yoshi's Story. That's what this one's called. I always mix it up with Yoshi's Island. But, oh, okay, that was close there. He teched it, though. But we have Seamus and, uh, and Dan Combos. Or Seamus, I think is how you say it. I don't really know. But, yeah, Dan Combos, one of our stronger Captain Falcons here. Probably one of the better players in the Springs, uh, arguably. But he won't tell you that. And he won't demonstrate it. <laughs> but uh, no, he's uh, he's putting in work with the Falcon. But I I honestly I don't I don't know if he likes this matchup. He plays it a lot with uh, with our other roommate uh, Mom. But he uh, I don't know if he knows this matchup too well. But or what his thought of it is at least. But yeah, he's looking uh, looking pretty strong here. Well, kind of. It's pretty even right now. But a couple good hits from Falcon here. And uh, it could easily be the stock, so... Nice drop through upper to Gentleman there. Oh! That looked like nipples to me, I don't know. For those of you who don't know, in Melee, the uh, down air has a spike on the top hitbox. And uh, it's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Commentate? Alright, I'm getting Crow on the mic with me, because solo commentary is not my specialty. Taking off his hat? Yeah, take off my hat. If you want to sit on the ground. Yeah. Alright, so what do I miss? Just so watch the push pins behind you. I don't want you to, like, rub your back on them. Right. Um, so, so far, this is game one. Uh... And uh, Dan Combos is doing some crazy stuff, but uh, it's it's looking pretty good. Like, Seamus could easily do this. Yeah. Up tilt? Not quite enough. Oh, good spacing from Dan Combos there. I thought he was dead. Oh, yeah. Usually yeah, when do, yeah. usually when Captain Falcon's off stage, he's... Well, yeah. Well, there it is. <laughs> well, there you go. Oh, yeah, usually, no, what happened? What I, I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't know, man. He just he just went off stage. Oh! oh my. Dan, always, Dan going for a whole He always right goes now. for hype, man. That's what he does. Seamus is looking really strong, though. He's playing really well today, from what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, Seamus is playing super well right now. Like, uh, not to say that he's normally bad. That came out wrong. But no, but he's, 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 noticing he's, the level up. He's definitely gotten a lot. Like, he's leveled up recently. I know that for sure. I remember the first time I played him at, I, like, wrecked him with my DK. Yeah. And uh, he's been putting in the work, he's so. He's been pretty respectful. Keeping it respectful of Dan right now. Yeah, absolutely. Which is uh, is, is a pretty important. Like, that's actually that's, pretty that's good. That's kind of a milestone. Yeah, Dan, I mean, Dan's CO's pretty good. So, like... I know he's he's ranked pretty high in PM, less so in melee, but he just doesn't play this game as much. But he likes it and he's good at it. So, oh, yeah. oh. that knee from Randall was gonna be so sick if he had landed if it. Have you gotten that hard knee? Oh, yeah. uh, I went for the up air from the ledge. Not the best option. Neutral get up, smart. Hanging out on Randall. <gasps> oh, oh Phantom, Phantom knee. <laughs> and then a strong right. knee to close it out. Dan Dan laughs it off. Dude, Phantom knee for free damage. Sure. No so, hit stun, free damage. I take oh, that. Sure, it stales it, but. 
Why not? I'll take yeah. But it's, oh, it's half damage. Yeah, it's half it's damage, damage. Half damage. You're but right. It's still okay. You're right. For those of you that uh, that know um, or that, that don't know, phantom hitboxes happen when the hitbox of a move and the hurtbox of an enemy character uh, are only touching on one pixel, so they're they're tangential. Right. And it does half damage and no knockback. It's called a phantom hit. So what I'm noticing from Shane from the little that I've seen so far is he, he needs to work on his edge guarding a little bit when it comes to Falcon. Yeah, it that's that's like true. Because uh, honestly, like, oh, he's going to his Samus. So this is actually uh, what I was expecting to see. Yeah. But uh, his Samus was pretty good. I played it last week. Um, but really? yeah, his he's he's a pretty solid Samus. I don't think I've played his Samus. He needs to he needs to get some friendlies with Lunchmeat. I'll tell him to do that later. All right. Because Lunchmeat's a really solid Samus. But anyway, um, you know, Dan's really kind of tempting fate here with the side B so close to stage. Yeah. But uh, this matchup, I would say, is I would argue it's good for Falcon. I, I would argue um, the same. It's it's probably probably a pretty good matchup. His combo game is out of control on Samus. Yeah. That was not the best DI I've ever seen. No, but, um, but I'm it, not sure if it mattered too much. It, it probably would have mattered on Dreamland. Dreamland's a good stage for this because Samus has a lot of recovery, and Falcon does not. So if Samus gets well, all right, if Samus gets the edge guard, it's uh, it's definitely pretty good. So. Now, I would imagine that Falcon does pretty well in this matchup because Sam's set nice like, floaty weight and he's kind of she's kind of heavy at the same time, you know. Yeah, no, you definitely get down throw to knee guaranteed. You get triple knees for free. Like, you get a lot of combo on Samus because she's heavy, but she's kind of like middle, like like mid floaty. She's pretty floaty, but <gasps> ooh, punch the tether with a down air. I don't know what he's okay. He's, oh, he's just racking up the damage. He's racking up damage. That's actually a good call on Dreamland. Yeah, yeah if you're on Dreamland, that you want to. That, that was the cleanest. Edgeguard I've seen, he's just showing he, off now. Dan is loving the, just showing the off platform now. shenanigans <laughs> lately. Yeah, he. I mean, he does that in his free time anyway. Like, between stocks, I'll see him do it, and it's just like, oh, cool. But he just wants to look cool, I guess, right now. Oh, of course. And he's doing it. Pipe so for the stream, you know? Yeah, he did, like, moonwalk, uh, grab the ledge, jump knee, and, like, oh, 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 I thought he was going to go for another knee. Yeah, like, double knee or triple knee. Like, those are pretty good on, a, on Samus, so. <gasps> oh, missed the tech. Oh, missed the back air. No, I've got to say, that's no fun. Like Dan's tech chasing him has always been pretty good, but I think it's been improving a bit lately. Absolutely. Yeah, he's he's definitely gotten. A <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> <I> <laughs> just, what do you say? He just did reverse knee and just stuffed it in there. I'm mad. I would be. I'm mad about it. He sounds I, mad too. I don't know. I, I, I don't know what he's mad about. Oh. Uh, oh. Back it. Oh. It's <gasps> bad. Now he's in a bad. Oh, oh Dan! Oh, he bumped his head. Even... Pineapple. Oh, no, the original no, pineapple. Oh, I hate it. Hate seeing right. half of it get SpongeBob to death. Man. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm gonna hop off commentary to help out.